Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Kara Corey here and wow, we are here to discuss the next Buff Bunny collection. And no, you are still just dreaming about how good the Seven Deadly Sins collection was. Collab with me, I am too. But we all have to move on to the next chapter and that next chapter is coming quickly, my friends. It is the Space Collection or what as Jason probably would like to call it is the UFO collection because he'd be deep diving into them UFO documentaries. So before we get into the unboxing, leave a comment below whether or not you believe in aliens. I'm gonna need all of you to do that. If I don't have an equal number of views to comments, I'm gonna be upset. So let me know down in the comments below whether or not you believe in aliens. However, we have the Space Collection and she's coming quick. This launch is happening on November 10th and you heard me correct. We have, I want to say, one of our first ever, with the exception of Black Friday, a Friday launch. So this launch is happening at the normal time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for myself. But it's a Friday, November 10th. So I am doing my live unboxing review. Well, not live with you, but I'm pre-filming this because Jason and I will be on vacation. We'll be in Orlando, Florida. Come say hi if you live there. But do not stress, friends. You know how we do. Whether or not Jay and I have COVID, we're going to do the damn thing. So do not worry. We're going to get all kinds of content for you. Bruce Wayne is here to attest to that, aren't you, buddy? I've got the moral support of the dogs. Let me just pick out that eye booger because that's gross. We'll leave that right there. We're gonna get right into it. We're not gonna take too long. This launch is not as big as the Seven Deadly Sins launch, a little bit smaller, but let me tell you, this to me, if I could have a launch following up my collab, it would be this launch. This launch, I think, just plays into some of the pieces and colors and just vibes from Seven Deadly Sins, but includes other stuff too. So I think you all are gonna really love this launch. This launch has some fabrics in it we'll discuss quickly. We have a combo of the butter fabric coming back, which we know and love. That's the super light compression, buttery, soft, stretchy fabric. We have Nubri, which we all know and love. We actually have energy fabric coming back, which I honestly thought maybe it was being replaced with butter, but there is one piece coming in energy fabric. I will go through anything I didn't get in my PR box. There are some items launching I don't necessarily have in my package. And then we have the air knit fabric. Just as your ears are gonna be on display, bro. Lay down. Lay down. He's very much on guard tonight with noises and sounds, so I think because I just did that with the package, he needed to get up and look. Airnet fabric, if you recall from the Inner Light collection, the Airnet fabric was the, remember that little reversible top? I don't remember if we called it Airnet in that collection, but it first came out in the Inner Light collection and they named it Airnet. So we have the Airnet fabric coming back, which I absolutely loved. So a lot of different fabric options for you here. And let's just get into it. Let's just start jumping into these pieces. So, I'm going to pre-open this, and then it looks like I have one item that didn't fit in here. So we'll do that one first. You suck at opening packages. Okay. <laughs> this first one. This first one, friends. Here, wait, let's, let's get a little thumbnail in case Jason needs a thumbnail. All right, so this first one, I don't know if this was teased at all, but I have kind of known about this one and I have been waiting for it. This is, I'm just going in with my favorite right away, I think. Favorite, I haven't even worn it yet and I already know. The Waist Taper Huffer Coat. Can we take a minute? You heard me correct, Puffer Coat. We're up in here in New York, friends. We need this Puffer Coat. Can we get a puffer coat for dogs? Okay, we're gonna take it out. I requested this in the color black. I got it in extra small, but it's also coming in beige and dark brown. I went with black just to be safe, but honestly, I think the beige and dark brown, like, 
may end up in my cart. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I'm intruding in the video. Please intrude. This is an informal family gathering. Cause I don't want to say I want your audience to be like, right? No. The well, intrusion. When we do the review videos, it's like, you guys are all such a part of it, but I'm down there alone. So this is a full length puffer coat. That's nice. Can I feel it? Yeah. Uh, Ooh, look at that waist singe. Wow. That's really nice. Yeah, this, like, I think Heidi said they were working on this for like two down. years. She perfected First that. The denim, now the puffer? I, you know, I go hard for a buff bunny coat. Remember last year they did the, um, what were they called from off the grid? The in reversible, it had like the furry on the inside, the silk on the outside. Love those. I love all my buff bunny collection coats. So this one is freaking beautiful. It's got the hood on it, which I'm wondering if that's detachable. Metal hardware, we've got pockets, we've got snaps. This is water repellent. Do not worry, I'm not gonna give you all the details here. You know why? Because I'm gonna still be doing my full detailed review as per usual, so that is gonna be your best reference and before I try on this puffer coat. Clearly using code Kara supports me if you plan on shopping the launch or shopping Buff Bunny collection at any point in time, or if you have something better than my 10% off code Kara. Using my link will also credit me with the sale. And you know I'm gonna be annoying and I'll just manifest a Kara collab 2.0. Why not? That would be an absolute dream. So I'm going for I'm going big for 2024. We're just gonna reach, reach all the dreams. But we will still have our live launch party on November 10th before the launch goes live. Let me try this on quick. JJ coming in with all the smells. I know, we all wanna see how good it looks on me, don't we? We all wanna see how good it looks. I just can't see. I got bad eyes. Okay. I have a mic on, so you won't be able to hear me. I'm officially ready for winter. This is nice. This is nice. Isn't it, Bruce? Wow. Okay. Orlando, Florida. Here I come with my puffer coat. Bringing it with me. I think I remember last year I didn't bring my little jackets with me and it got cold some nights. This is gorge. I can't wait to style that for y'all. Honestly, buff bunny coats, they, they do it right with those puffer coats. So as mentioned, beige, dark brown, onyx black. It's a full length fit, designed for lifestyle, obviously not a workout piece. Beautiful, I am so glad they sent that to me. Now let's get into all the other pieces that I received and will be reviewing for y'all. Dang, it's got tape. Okay, you guys are gonna be so happy. The colors in this collection are obviously reflective of the galaxy, of space. So we've got some darks, we've got a little bit of neutral in here, and then we also have some pops of colors, which I'm just gonna tell you, honestly, I think we've seen all these colors before. I don't think we have any new colors in this collection, but we finally have the return of the beautiful Lotus, which was originally launched with the Secrets in the Sand collection, I wanna say, so that was well over a year ago. Such a stunning, beautiful purple. Definitely more poppy than Vanity we saw in Seven Deadly Sins. Um, we also have Terracotta coming back, Tea Leaf, which we saw in the Storm Collection, Avo Green, Mocha. We have a brand new Dimension print, which looks really cool. Very Karakori-esque, if you think about what the Black Dahlia print looked like last month. So I am here for all this. So let's just start top item. And this one makes me happy. So I did do an Instagram live while I was picking my pieces. And one of the things I teased was that something that was not in my collection was also not in this collection and may make some of you unhappy, but not me. Uh, we do not have any legacy still friends. So no legacy leggings or shorts, but we do have Rosa four inch shorts. So I honestly prefer the Rosa shorts 
over the Legacy. And these are probably my preferred four inch short. They just don't fit as short or small as a Legacy short. The waistband has a little more length to it. So here we have the beautiful Rosa short in the Lotus color. I got size extra small, I think, across the board and everything this launch. I believe I did. But we have the Rosa shorts. This is in the color uh, Lotus. And then they sent me another pair because I, you know, had to mention that these are my absolute favorites. And I'm trying to think the last time we just had plain solid Rosa shorts, not the ombre ones. It's been a minute since we've had a solid pair that didn't have bossy on it or anything like that. Terracotta, such a beautiful color. We've seen this before. I have a pair of flow shorts in terracotta. What a beautiful color. So I got that both in Lotus and terracotta. These are just, to me, stunning. Love these. Very excited I got my package before Orlando so I can wear these down there. So these are the Rosa shorts and they are also coming in the color Onyx Black and Dimension Print. Ooh, I don't know if I got any dimension prints. I'll have to see. I don't know what exactly I got. I didn't honestly haven't looked at this yet. All right, next piece we have is a returning item. Another really popular item. I don't think we've seen it since Secrets in the Sand either, and that's the Harmony Halter Sports Bra. This one's Newbury fabric, as are the Rosa shorts. Pretty. Okay, I got this in the terracotta color. Fun. Uh, I think I have a white one from Secrets in the Sand, so I just requested they didn't send me a white one. Ooh, this will look really pretty for a tonal moment with the Rosa shorts. So this one has that crisscross halter in the front, little keyhole in the middle. I, for my chest size, it doesn't give me too much cleavage. Um, in this one, you do just slide into it and then you've got the, the hook closures here in the back. And it also does come with an extender if you need that to extend it. So it's a really nice sports bra. Also has the adjustable straps here, which I believe was the case with Secrets in the Sand. My mind is still, is a, is a little mushy up here, friends. Harmony Halter, no changes. All right, cool, perfect. I'm excited to have this in this color. I feel like my white sports bras, because I'm really bad at keeping whites white, I haven't worn that bra as much, and I really love that sports bra. I think it's really flattering. All right, we'll save accessories for last. Next up, we have a very fun pair of leggings. We saw these in the Inner Lights collection. We have more of the Curve leggings coming, and I received them in the color Mocha. There's been no changes to these leggings, so if you got them and love them in the Inner Lights collection, no changes to these. They are a 26 inch inseam, light compression, high rise, um, Honestly, the extra small, I know, fit me perfect. The only thing I will say is when I got them from the Inner Lights collection in the Alaska color, I had seriously bad pilling, which was the first time I ever had pilling in any butter fabrics. Never had that in the corset leggings, regardless of what color I got. I didn't get any pilling with my collection either. So I'm not sure if it was a color issue or actually the fabric. So this will be a good test. I will definitely wear the heck out of these. A stunning legging though. I love the silhouette of these. They're very reminiscent of the contour pocket leggings that came out with the Naked launch in terms of the seams, just without the pockets. Uh, it's. I think these are more of a mid-rise fit. It says high rise. I just feel like the waistband, these don't come up as high as like a Rosa legging. Um, but yeah, I got them in the color mocha. I'm so excited because I honestly don't think I have anything in the color mocha in this fabric. So really excited to have my neutral grounds color here. So those are the curved leggings. I have another pair of curved leggings here and these are in the color tea leaf, which I mentioned launched with Storm. And it's just such a beautiful color. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm trying to think. I think I have a Monarch sports bra in tea leaf that I could match with this. So the same leggings, just in that tea leaf color. There you go. 
These are also gonna be launching in terracotta, which I just showed you before, and onyx black. So these are more of like a strength training yoga type legging. Definitely not my choice for, for running with this legging, but I always give you the full rundown with my review videos of how I best like each piece, what I like to wear it for or use it for. Okay, I also hinted on my IG Live my favorite ever Buff Bunny collection piece that was not in my launch, I was kind of hinting at that, was gonna be in this launch. And that is the Ivy Crop Top. It is just the best top. It is my go-to top. I wear it for everything. I mean, I wear the crap out of these. So I'm very excited these are coming back in some pretty colors we haven't had before. I got it in the color ivory. Yes, ivory, I wear these in an extra small. I love these because they're just your perfect go-to top. They're not too cropped. They have the built-in boob pads. And the backside is just so stunning. It's just literally so gorgeous with how it shows off your back. This is a great top for workouts or for lifestyle. She's getting packed for Orlando. Those look great with jean shorts, jeans. You can dress them up too. It's honestly the best top. I think I got one more of those. Let me see. Let me see, just so we can keep it organized. Oh my gosh. Did I, did I make that up? <gasps> they sent me another Seven Deadly Sin, Sin sticker. I ain't gonna complain. I got another Seven Deadly Sin sticker, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, maybe, maybe I lied. Maybe I didn't get another Ivy crop top. I don't know why I thought I did. I don't know. Okay, all right, we'll keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Okay, next stop. This is a brand new item. Um, this is the Essential Cami. Is this in the air knit fabric? I hope so. Yes, it's in the air knit fabric, which is so beautiful. So this is light support, no boob pad self-lined. I got it in the color black. It's coming in white and black. So it just kind of looks like your perfect little basic Essential Cami to throw on. I mean, honestly, I don't always need support when I'm training, like weight training. So this could be a little titty top I might want to wear for a training day. How cute is that? Like, literally so stunning. Air knit fabric, so nice and stretchy. It is double lined. It's double lined. So I think this will give my tiny chest, I'm a 34A, so a little support. Um, it's got little, ooh, okay. The straps are like, you've got some flexibility with those. They're adjust, not adjustable, but they're bouncy. And then there's the backside, very open back. Just a real cute, dainty little essential tank top. It's listed for lounge, but quite honestly, I could probably work out in this. So I will definitely test that out and let you know if my itty bitty titty committee members can get away with wearing this for gym and lifestyle because Whenever possible, I try to make these pieces work for as many functions as we can. That way, if you're gonna buy it, it's worth your money and you feel confident knowing you're spending your money in the best way possible. So I'm really excited for that little cami. Uh, next up, we have such a throwback. I need to also know in the comments if you remember this sports bra. We have the return of the Ambrosia sports bra. And honestly, I don't think we've seen this sports bra in like four years. I want to say the last time I got it, it was in like the triggered print. The, the first time we had the triggered print come out. Is that right? It was years ago. We haven't had this bra in years. Minor updates they made to it is my understanding. Ooh, that feels nice. Is this a Newbury fabric now? This is a Newbury fabric. It's coming in white and black. So I requested it in black because... I just don't trust myself with white lately, and I think I maybe have one of these in white. So this is a really pretty bra, especially for having a little titty moment. It's got the mesh on the top, and then you've got this cutout here with a little V. So if you have more cleavage, you could get real cleavagey here. I myself don't, but it's still a really attractive bra. And then the way they do the mesh on the backside is also really pretty. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the details here, but if you head on over to my Discord, Buff Bunny Babes, at this time I will have a whole channel discussing this launch. We will have the PDF all set up for you there. That way you can take a look 
closer up, you can start creating your list, start writing your questions down that you have. Um, so you can reference it there too and see it a little bit better. And I'd love to just have you in the Discord if you're not already joined. But this is just a really sexy bra. Uh, this is gonna be great for Halloween Horror Nights. This is kind of just a little top sports bra that I personally would also implement as a top for like concerts or going out. So I'm excited to have that. Um, let's see, next up we have a brand new sports bra. This one is one of those ones that kind of reminds me of the front detailing, just looking at the PDF kind of reminds me of the Aurora sports bra. A little bit of the seductress with the scoop, but the detailing's different and the straps are totally different, so. It's same, but totally different. So the Revolve Sports Bra is coming in Black Lotus and Dimension Print. What did I get it in? Dimension Print, yeah, I'm like, score. I don't know what I even asked for. So this Dimension Print, this is the first time you guys are seeing this. Um, these bras, sometimes this style just, I don't wanna say it doesn't work for me, but I will say being smaller chested, this isn't necessarily, necessarily always the most flattering print flattering style, not print. Um, so it just depends. Sometimes I can size down on a bra like this. Like, I can't tell. It almost looks like it could be a little wide for me. Maybe not. Maybe that's normal, though. Sometimes I just, I don't understand sizing. But this is an extra small in the dimension print, so hopefully you can get an idea of how that looks. I'll bring it up a little bit closer. Really cool, so I like prints like this because it's not aggressive, it's not in your face, and those are the types of prints that I like. Something like this, it's not too bold, too wild. Prints like this will just make you look a bit more curvy too, but you can also mix and match it with tons of different solids. There's really no right or wrong, that's why I like this stuff. And then the back is just super strappy and pretty. I really like the straps on the back. So I'm interested to see how this one works out for me. The new Revolve bra, I said it's coming in Lotus and Onyx Black as well. It is listed as a light support level, so that makes sense. Um, more for strength training or yoga sessions. Cute, okay. Next up, we have a return of one of the bras that came out in my collection. This is the Double Twist Sports Bra. I got it in tea leaf. Double twist is a moment. She really is uh, that moment to kind of show off your chest, but compared to the twist bra from the Naked Collection, this one just supports you a bit better. It's also in the butter fabric, whereas the twist bra was in the Nubri fabric. Um, so I just, I find this one more flattering and just something I reach to, to put on on days when I'm just lounging at home, which has been a lot this past week where I'm just like, I don't wanna put on real clothes, I'm working from home. What's something comfortable that I can wear under like a baggy t-shirt or a sweatshirt? The double twist is that girl. She is just comfortable for lounge, but also will give you a bit of a titty moment if you wanna look a bit more sexy or snatched for the gym. So cute, I really love the tea leaf color. I think it's so pretty. I'm glad they brought the tea leaf back. Honestly, I feel like tea leaf would look sick with Lotus. Seriously? Yeah. I'm trying to be better about my mixing and matching. I'm usually really safe when it comes to this stuff, but you guys have encouraged me to be better about it. I honestly, also this is a moment. It's giving watermelon. It's it's giving a fall watermelon and I'm here for it. So really really like those color combos we can do with that. The double twist is also coming in terracotta as well as the color mocha. So you've got some great color options there. All right, what else do I have? We have another brand new piece. We have a nice mix here of some brand new pieces and then also pieces you've seen before. We have a new style bolero from Buff Bunny Collection. So I'm currently wearing the cloud bolero, but we have what's called the essential bolero. The fabric is air knit and it's coming in white or black. High neckline, thumb holes, cropped fit, designed for lounge. So this is more of a lounge piece, but honestly, this is something you could wear to the gym if you just wanna be a little covered up or if you just wanna be a little more stylish. That's all you're gonna get from it. The girls in Discord like to call it sleeves, and I would agree with you on that. So I got it in the color black. 
once again, just coming, I think more so with not choosing whites, me coming into fall and winter in New York, I'm in my dark girl era. So white isn't a color you're gonna see me in a ton. Ooh, this feels nice. Okay, so there she is. The fabric is definitely a lot different than a cloud bolero. So I'll be interested to see how the sizing is. Went with just my normal extra small on this. Yeah, I think that's gonna look so cute. This over the um, dimension print or even over the Ambrosia sports bra. That's gonna be a vibe. I'm so excited for this launch. Literally, I was worried I wasn't gonna be excited for the next launch or something. And this one is, it's really, really good. All right, moving on. Oh, I got another pair of Rosa shorts. Are those the only shorts we have launching our Rosa? I think so. That's the other thing. I don't know if you guys are gonna feel some kind of way about. We just have the one style of short launching, which is the Rosa four inch short. I personally am happy about it. I don't, I don't wear as many shorts this time of year, but I do on vacation. And I do when I train from home, just not when I go out to the gym. So we have the Rosa Dimension print shorts. Yes, love, love this print. I'm so excited to do that with the matching bra in the black bolero. That'll look cute. Just to have like more of a dark girl outfit. I really like that print. Okay, moving along, we're getting there. We have up next another double twist sports bra. Sweet. Ooh, this will go with my leggings, perfect. Okay, they sent me the mocha, which I just really like this mocha color. It's really pretty. I think it just complements maybe my dark hair and skin tone, but I just really like it. So if you did not grab the double twist bra yet, don't sleep on her. Not gonna be high support, but really, really comfortable. I think I already talked enough about that bra, so let me keep it moving. Um, okay, I think we're on the last piece before accessories, and then we have quite a few things I'll mention that I didn't receive that are launching. This one I'm so hyped on. The coat and then this one were my two top picks. I had to. The Singe Waist Puffer Vest. Ah, I love it. So maybe you don't need a puffer jacket because maybe you live in Houston and just don't need that. But she also came out with the cutest little puffer vest. And I do feel like she leaked this a long time ago. Wow, that detailing is high quality. Ooh, that's nice. I can't wait to get some of those close-up shots that Jason just nails every time. Wow, oh my gosh. Okay, so just first impressions. The quality on this has me seriously gasped. Like, I'm gagged actually at the moment. I have no words. The quality is definitely top-notch. Um, I got it in the color beige. It's also coming in dark brown and black. So same color options as the coat. I just love a puffer so much. Oh, look at that inner line detail. When you zip it down, do you see that? It has Buff Bunny collection. Ooh, that's so nice. I, I gotta try this on too real quick. I gotta know. I gotta know. So you could definitely like leave the collar popped or unpop it. I gotta make sure I take my mic out here real quick for y'all. Okay, you're gonna get a better idea of how this actually looks on me when I'm pairing it with a better outfit. So, oh, you can singe this on the sides and make it real tight if you want or keep it loose to a zipper. Chevron quilting stitches, bun bungee cord to adjust bottom opening, designed for lifestyle, obviously. I feel like I just need to singe this in more and not wear it with a sweatsuit for a better look. Like this isn't the vibe, but ooh, this is so cute. I'm wondering if I could have sized down to an extra, extra small in this, but I guess it depends what you wanna wear underneath it. So for the review video, I'll definitely pair it with just a light shirt underneath, and then I'll pair it with like a big hoodie underneath to give you the best guidance for how to size on this piece. Very excited for that. So those were my top two picks, was the puffer vest and the jacket, because I just love Buff Bunny Collection lifestyle pieces. 
Okay, so that's that. Then we have some accessories. I think I've got scrunchies galore here. Yes, I love it when they send me the scrunchies to match for outfits. I have been wearing the scrunchies nonstop. So we have the dimension print. I think that's the only accessory. Yeah, we just have scrunchies coming for accessories. We have it in Lotus. Lotus too, okay. We have five colors coming in the scrunchies. So we have Lotus. They sent me the Avo Green, which is nice because I didn't, Avo Green isn't a, a new color. We've seen Avo Green before, but I didn't get anything in it in this collection, which I don't know why I didn't request any Avo Green. I think everything else was just speaking to me more. The terracotta and the lotus we hadn't seen in so long. So there are scrunchy options. The only one I didn't receive would be mocha. Yeah. So you also have mocha launching for the scrunchies too. Now let's real quickly go into the pieces that I don't have in front of me or just yet, but we'll be reviewing. Okay, don't you worry. I get it all in my review. Um, other items, ladies, that we have coming. Um, I forgot to mention the ivy crop. I received it in ivory. It's also coming in terracotta, mocha, avo green, and black. So definitely recommend stocking up on the ivy crop already. That's on my list. I need every color. I already have black, but I'm going to need the other colors. Okay, the one thing that I'm sad I didn't receive and I don't know if I will be receiving because the team isn't sure if they're getting it in PR or not. So for those of you, if you notice that there's not gonna be many athletes with it. I don't know if there will be any with it, just that's the reasoning why sometimes stuff is slow to the warehouse. But we have the over it alls coming back. And so they're coming back in ivory, which I have my ivory pair from last year, but they're also coming back in onyx black. Brooklyn's modeling them in onyx black in a PDF and she looks so good in them. So I had requested those. And the other cool thing about the over it alls coming back is that they're now being offered. There's the only changes to them is I believe they made the pockets a little bit deeper to fit all your goodies in, but they're also now being offered in three different lengths, just like we did for the Material Girl flare leggings in my launch. We have short 29 inches, regular 31 inches, or tall 34 inches. So I did request these in the short length. Um, I wanna say last year they were just a regular inseam, but I don't know if I'll get those in time, but they are now being offered in black. So you have that as an option. In addition, they have the over it alls coming in a shorts version, which those look so cool. I would love to have those for Orlando, but honestly in New York, I'm not gonna be able to wear those anytime soon. Like we're beyond short season here. It's not getting warm enough anymore, but those are a two and a half inch inseam. So those are gonna be kind of tiny, a little short. Keep that in mind, two and a half inch inseam is not long that's kind of comparative to your demi shorts or the training shorts i think they were called those are also coming in ivory and black so those are two lifestyle pieces definitely recommend jumping on the over it alls those sold out pretty quick last year when those first launched okay the other items i did not receive we have a set coming back. This set is stunning from the Sugar Rush collection. That was Felicia's collab. We have the Twilight leggings and the Twilight sports bra. Honestly, I don't know if those sold out or not, but I think because candy wrap and all the poppy colors were so new, I think that set got a little overlooked for how incredible it is just because there were so many good pieces that launch. But the Twilight set is phenomenal. That Twilight sports bra is definitely a high support sports bra. Um, I didn't ask for it because there hasn't been any changes since Sugar Rush. So I will get my set out and incorporate that into the review in case someone hasn't seen it before. Um, just really pretty sweetheart neckline on the sports bra. The material itself is a nylon spandex. So that's kind of more your only performance set you're getting in this launch. Butter and Nubri isn't really like great for cardio or sweating in my personal opinion. So the Twilight set would be my recommendation there. The leggings are phenomenal. They are a 27 inch inseam, light to medium compression. They kind of have a little bit of like a sparkle detail on them. So they're listed as dusk, but they're like a black color with just like a light, very subtle sparkles to them. They're beautiful. Just also a great lifestyle legging in addition. 
Uh, I didn't receive any, but we have Rosa Pocket Leggings making a comeback. Those are coming in four different colorways, Lotus, Avo Green, Terracotta, and Onyx Black. So for those of you really wanting a pocket legging, I had Rosa Leggings, just the standard in my collection. Now you have the option of the Rosa Pocket Legging, which I think is so cool because I heard many of you say you were missing these. So I'm glad those are coming back for you all. Light to medium compression, new brief fabric. We have a brand new legging. I didn't request these, but um, I'm not sure many athletes will have these either, just to note on that. These are the one item coming in the energy fabric. These are called the energy fold over legging. It's kind of reminiscent, number one, of like a maternity legging with how high up they go. Um, I was wondering if it was listed as that. They have someone looking like maternity modeling them. Um, but then they can also be rolled down. So that kind of reminds me of the yoga pants from Pink or Victoria's Secrets. Like, I don't know, late 90s, early 2000s. Do you remember those? We were all wearing them. That's what these kind of remind me of. They're a 26 inch inseam, medium support, can be worn as maternity. I didn't request those just because quite honestly, I don't think it's something I'd ever wear, but I do love energy fabric. So for many of you, I get customers all the time saying, I'm pregnant right now, which would be the best pair of leggings. So I think it's really cool that they incorporated something like this. And the last item that I didn't receive because your girl just had it in her launch, that is the Alpha Sports Bra. So the Alpha Sports Bra is coming back just such a favorite sports bra, so I love to see it back. Um, ivory, avo green, mocha, and onyx black are your colors for the Alpha Sports Bra. And I think I think I hit everything. You got an itch, bro? Need help? Let's let me just double check, make sure I didn't miss anything. Yes, that is the full launch. Let me just double check if there are any changes here. So pretty much anything that's a repeat item, there's been no changes. The only change that we see here is in that Ambrosia sports bra, which like I said, is really an older throwback sports bra. The update was made to be make it more true to size, more flattering. We last saw this in the Boss collection. We had it in the Boss collection? Why don't I remember that? Maybe I didn't get it. I don't remember. But yeah, that is the entire Space Collection launch. I'm really excited for these colors, these pieces. I just think it's such a fun launch, a great little transition here, at least for me in New York from fall to winter. Let me know down in the comments below what you're most excited for, and I will be working right away. So will Jason on getting this review completed for you. Tons of content to come on the Space Collection. And just a quick thank you to you all for supporting me during that last collection for the seven deadly sins. That was just, I, I'm still over here on cloud nine. I'm going to stay over here on cloud nine for a long time. So I apologize if it's annoying, but yeah, I'm going to bring it up a lot because I'm really proud of it. It was a dream come true. And it's a dream that would not have come true if it wasn't for all of you who choose to support me anytime Buff Bunny Collection has a launch. When you choose to plug in my code or use my link or maybe make a comment on their Instagram, something that I influenced you to do or to buy. It honestly, it doesn't go unnoticed from myself or from the team. So that honestly has changed my life and I cannot thank you all enough. I will be doing a giveaway for the month of November. So for any of you all that do choose to use my code or my link, make sure you send that over to me, but full detailed review to come friends. And yeah, I can't wait to see what you all are excited to get this launch. And we're gonna wrap it up here. I will see you in the full detailed space collection review.